Hi everyone. This is going to be a short video on how to make a chart in LibreOffice Calc. LibreOffice Calc is a free alternative to Microsoft Office. Here I'm running it on a Lubuntu virtual machine. How I opened LibreOffice Calc was I went down to the start menu, went to Office, and then I went to LibreOffice Calc. Okay, so this is a spreadsheet program. When you initially open it, it's not going to have anything in it, no data. Okay, it's an empty spreadsheet. So hopefully you have some data in mind that you want to chart, and now would be the time to open it up. So we'll go File, Open, and I've got this little CSV file here called Seconds Only that I want to make a chart of the data in it. And it's a CSV file, which is short for comma separated value, which means uh, each line in the file corresponds to a row in a table, like this table here, and then uh, data is separated by comment, commas, which is what forms these uh, columns here. So mine is comma separated, so I'll just leave the default options here for the separators, and it looks like it is successfully parsing it the way it should be parsed. All right, so here's my little bit of data here. Uh, so this data represents the number of seconds, the timing amount of seconds to run uh, three different algorithms, selection sort, bubble sort, and insertion sort, on uh, four different vector configurations. So the vector configurations are uh, varying in size from 500, 1,000, 5,000, all the way up to 10,000 element vectors. And the data inside of these vectors initially was just all random data, and then I passed them into each of these sorting routines. So that's why it says random in front here, uh, because this is the result of sorting vectors with random data. All right, so my goal is to produce one chart, and this chart is going to plot this random data results such that there's one curve, one line for selection sort, bubble sort, and insertion sort. I'll have the size of the vector on the x-axis, and I'll have the total seconds uh, on the y-axis. All right, so initially I'm going to do uh, one quick thing. I'm going to make a little list of the categories, the names, the labels, I want for my four points on the x-axis, okay? So that's gonna be my sizes. 500, 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000. Okay, I could just use these, one of these sets of four for my labels, but I don't want that random n equals in front of it. So I'm just gonna save this here so I can use it in the chart wizard as my x-axis categories. You'll see what that looks like here momentarily. All right, so I'm gonna select my first set of data I want for my selection sort curve, and that's these four values. Then I'm gonna go insert chart, and this is gonna bring up a chart wizard, which I'll just click through in order to build my chart. All right, so first things first, I want a line chart, okay, with my points. Okay, you can see kind of a preview of my curve right there. I want the lines to actually connect the points. So I'll click this one and that looks good. All right, I'll hit next. I don't need to change anything on this page because I initially had a data range for my first curve, my first series selected. But if you didn't, you could select it here. All right, on the next page, here's where I can choose a name for this series. So right now it's defaulting to column B, but I want this to say selection sort because I'm gonna add two other curves, one for bubble sort and one for assertion sort, and I wanna be able to easily see by looking at my legend, which curve is which. All right, so with name selected, I'm gonna go down to range for name, and I'm gonna click this button here, which kind of looks like go to the spreadsheet and choose a cell or choose cells. So I'll click this, and I'm gonna click on selection sort, and now we can see that my label for this blue curve here changed to selection sort. All right, next thing is for name, there's also an option for categories. Okay, so this is the x-axis labels. Instead of one, I want 500. Instead of two, I want 1,000, et cetera. So same thing for categories. I'm gonna click this go to spreadsheet button and I'm going to choose this range of values right here. Okay, so I click on the first one and then I'm holding shift on my keyboard, clicking the last one to grab a range inclusive of all of 
the elements between and the edge points of my range. All right, so now it looks good. See, I've got these labels on the x-axis. All right, I can also add additional curves here at this time, but I'm gonna just finish my chart wizard, then I'll come back and add my two other ones here. But you could just click add to do bubble sort and insertion sort or whatever other curves you wanna add to this chart. All right, I'm gonna hit next. Title, I'm gonna call this uh, random data. X-axis, okay, this is my label for 500, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. So this is gonna be N, which is my vector size. And then Y-axis, this is going to be my total seconds. How long did it take to run? I think I will add uh, X-axis grid. Get those showing up there. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'll hit finish. Okay, and here's my initial chart. Now all I need to do is add two more curves, one for these four bubble sort results and one for these four insertion sort results. So with the chart selected, you can see there's a toolbar up here that has um, some different icons, okay? If you ever can't see this, you're like, oh, I'm clicking on my chart. So let me click off, click on it. Oh, it's not showing up. How do I get it to show up? Uh, I find the easiest way is just right click, edit right click edit. Okay, if you need to change any of your labels, okay, this right here, titles, okay, that'll help you change these x-axis, y-axis, and title labels. If you wanna add another curve or change the current curve, then you'll go up to data ranges. All right, under data series, this is where we can add another series. Okay, so I wanna add one for bubble sort. So I'm gonna click add. For name, I'm gonna click on bubble sort, okay? For Y values, I'm gonna click on uh, this range right here. These are the four bubble sort results I wanna plot. Okay, I'm just kinda of move this and preview it. Looks good. I'm gonna do that one more time for insertion sort. And there I have it, there's my chart. I've got three curves, one for each of my sorts. Uh, each one of my sorts has four results based on this category, the size of the vector, which is my x-axis. And the actual values I'm plotting are total seconds. And you can see when I have the chart selected, it's showing in blue all the pieces of data from the spreadsheet that are being used by this chart. So this is a good way to just spot check and make sure that what you think is being plotted is actually what's being plotted. All right, so that's my short video on how to make a chart in LibreOffice Calc. Thank you for watching.